Welcome, Dark Siders. Hey, Dark Siders. So I just had to hop on and share this because I just got finished reading an article, literally an article about the Fantastic Four. You know that the MCU is working on a Fantastic Four for the upcoming phases of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And what I heard is that it is possible, if not likely, now I don't know how true this source is, that we might see Franklin Richards introduced into the MCU in the next Fantastic Four movie, and then he might be in subsequent movies to come. Now, here's why this is a big deal, because Franklin Richards is crazy powerful. As a matter of fact, if you were to Google him right now, I'm willing to bet within a top 10, top 20 list, his name is going to come up on that list as one of the most powerful mutants slash really being in the Marvel Universe. As a matter of fact, he's such a beast that we really don't know the extent of his full abilities because the comics have not really defined it. It kind of depends on who's writing him. Now what he's really known for is his ability to manipulate reality and also really his control over, essentially over all the forces of the universe. Those are just his two biggest power profiles, right? He's got like a rack. So he's crazy, crazy powerful. Now here's why this is exciting to me. because. I feel like the more powerful beings you bring into the MCU, the better, and the better for us, the viewer, because all of the stories that we love in comics, like I love Secret Wars, it's probably my favorite Marvel comic book story, we get to see potentially on the big screen because you are bringing in those larger, more powerful characters that are central to those storylines, like the Beyonder is a big part of Secret Wars. So... I'm excited about this, man, and I don't subscribe to the whole idea that certain beings are too powerful for the MCU. You, honestly, here's what I think. I think it all depends on how you write the story. It all depends on how you present that hero, that being into the MCU, whether as to whether or not that being will actually fit. If you write it well, then it's going to be fine, and if you respect the power profile, it's going to be fine, even if... Even if you have to nerf the power profile a little bit, but you respect the source origin to the extent that they're still very powerful, I think people will welcome them into the MCU. But the broader reason why it's so exciting to me is, again, it, it just expands the storytelling. It expands what we can do with the amount and number of stories that we can bring into the MCU, and we don't just have to limit them to quote-unquote street-level heroes. Now, I know somebody's going to get mad at me because a lot of the heroes we've seen in the MCU are much more than street level heroes, but a lot of them that we've seen in the MCU are considered street level heroes. But we've got such a broad and vast universe, a diverse universe of heroes that it just expands what's possible for the MCU. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm super excited about Franklin Richards. I really hope it's true. I hope that we do get him introduced into the MCU because I think that what he can bring in terms of expanding the storytelling aspects of what we might get with future movies is just absolutely fantastic. But I do want to hear from you about this because I know that there are some folks that are just saying to themselves, I'm sorry, Al, I don't know how this can work. I don't know how you can bring someone in like a Franklin Richards or a Beyonder, right, and really have them represented in the MCU in a proper way that pays respect to who they are and how powerful they are from the source material and still have them come across as something that seems viable for those of us that are comic book fans in the movies. I don't know how it's done. So let me know what you think about that. Let me know what your feedback is about that. I'm, I'm very, very excited about this. I really hope that this happens. That said, you guys, make sure that you check out more content from Dark Side Reviews. If you are new here and you love comic books, movies, streaming content, entertainment news, all of that good stuff. We cover it all here on the channel, so welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, and then jump into the comments. Let's have some discussion about this. Become a Darksider. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.